we will see the commissioning of 750 watt servo motors. We connect the motor cable with being careful with the notches. We are plugging the drive lead of the motor cable. We connect the encoder cable being careful with the notches. We connect the encoder cable to the drive. We install the 24 volt signal cable on the drive. The 5 volt signal cable for 5 volt output drives are available in our stocks. The servo drive operates at 220 volts. 220 volts phase connects with neutral mono phase. L1 and L3 phase connects with neutral. We make a bridge connection from L1 to L1C, from L3 to L2C. The B2 and B3 bridges come pre-assembled, otherwise they need to be made. We power the drive, the drive is now ready. The drive needs to be enabled. We could enable it in two ways. It can be done by external 24 volt signal or internal enable. We are doing internal enable. Our parameter is M so we press it twice, then we see the parameter section, parameter 50A is the enable parameter. We start typing from left to right. We switch places with data. We write 5 with the up arrow key. To enable 8101 we need to set it to 8171. By pressing data key we change the number 1 to 7. We hold down the data key to save it. When we reset the servo driver it should be in the run mode. Driver is ready. For gear settings, we need to reduce the drive settings from 10,000 pulses to 1,000 pulses. We will change the divisor parameter 20E to 10. We press the Z key twice, then we press the data key for the parameter and we will write 20E. With data, we go into it, we make the coefficient number to 10. It will divide the 10,000 coefficient by this number. The parameter to be used as the multiplier is 210. With data, the number 1 you're entering into looks like. We do not touch this number because we want to achieve 1000 pulse resolution. Driver is ready.